The Score is the place for local spring high school sports, and we've got some for you right now. Brought to you by Central Maine Community College. More than just a community college, over 40 academic degrees and certificates, and one of the lowest tuition rates in New England. Just go to cmcc.edu. Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville, the dealer with no dock fees where cars and trucks cost you less. Online at cmautogroup.com. By Hammond Lumber Company, serving Maine and New Hampshire from 22 locations. Your building project partner, HammondLumber.com. Midstate Machine. Looking for a career? Check out the Machinist Development Program at MidstateUSA.com. Whittemore & Sons, your coyote tractor dealer. Sales and service by a family that cares. Somerset Stone & Stove, offering quality gas, pellet, and wood stoves and hardscape products. 201 Tire Battery and Service, your tire and battery experts on the Augusta Vassalboro line. SBS Carbon Copy in Waterville, where printing's personal, not puzzling. PJ Diggs, the excavation pros. If it's dirt, they do it. Renewal by Anderson, award-winning replacement windows and doors. Schedule your free consultation today. Assistance Plus, providing home care, behavioral health, and developmental services. Together, we can make a difference. Maine Preventative Maintenance, your complete heating, cooling, and plumbing contractor. The Harry J. Smith Company, 13 Sanger Avenue, Waterville, serving the Central Maine community for over 100 years. JDH3 Design at JDH3Designs.com, where they can print on just about anything. Valley Beverage, delivering great beverages every day. Dixon's Country Market in Benton with 24-hour diesel service and the best takeout food around. And by Casella Waste for your residential and commercial trash pickup. Now, let's go live to Mike Violet and A.J. Knight. Good morning and welcome to Mount Vernon Avenue Field here in Augusta, where this morning and through the afternoon, the score brings you live coverage of high school softball today as... The homestanding Mesolonsky Eagles take on the Coney Rams. I'll explain in a moment. He's A.J. Knight. I'm Mike Violet. This is supposed to be a home game and, in fact, is in quotations for the Mesolonsky Eagles, but the Eagles' field is still unplayable, so they decided to move the game to Augusta. Unfortunately, the field that Coney usually uses also is not ready to play, but this field here at Mount Vernon Avenue is ready to go. It's a field that's been here for a long time in Augusta, and it's really a terrific field, and it's in great shape. And so we are good to go for the season opener for these two teams, our season opener as far as softball is concerned. And when you look at the Mesolonsky Eagles, a team that made it to the Class A semifinals a year ago in the quarterfinals, they beat Bangor 12-5 to and then ran into Skowhegan and lost to the Riverhawks in the semifinals. 5-2. to two. Skowhegan went on to lose to Oxford Hills in the regional championship game. But this Mesolonsky team, it's a very good ball club that Samantha Tunningley has. And even though she lost her number one pitcher from a year ago, they are in good shape. I was talking to her before the game, and she said, really, I've got three pitchers. Maddie Wilson is the number one, and she's going to start here today. Yeah, I mean, Mesolonsky kind of... Uh sort of a tale of the, the, the rivalry, I suppose you'd say, as we've gone from you know fall sports to winter sports now to, to spring sports, right? Uh, when it comes to specifically, it seems like women athletics, Meselonsky's chasing that Skowhegan top of the mountain. We saw it with field hockey, now we see it with softball. They were able to beat them in the regular season last year, unfortunately, in the game that counts most. They couldn't get them in the semifinals, but no surprise they're expected to be a threat to the Riverhawks again. Yeah, Coney did not make the playoffs a year ago, and Dennis Gagne's team is going to throw Suri Ramkissoon here today. Suri Ramkissoon, R-A-M-K-I-S-S. You didn't practice that, did you? O O N. I didn't. I read it a couple of times. I don't know anything about her. We're all going to find out together what kind of stuff that she has. But the good news is that even though the temperature... The air temperature is cooler today. It's warmer because the wind is far less of a factor today than it was in Winslow yesterday for our season opener in high school baseball. Temperature about 52 or 53, but the wind is much less of a factor. This field, you may not be able to tell, is kind of down 
off Mount Vernon Avenue, and it's kind of low, so the wind hopefully isn't going to blow over us, and we should be in good shape. The field is in good shape, and these two teams, I think, are in good shape. So I think for Coney, they find out what they've got and where they are right out of the gate. Coney, of course, playing Class B, and Mesolonsky playing Class A. Yeah, and I uh, worth noting talking about the uh, ace of the staff graduating for uh, Meslonsky. Only one senior on last year's varsity roster for Coney. Now it was a good one. Sage Fortin is a very good player, but uh, you know stands to reason he had a young ball club ball club last season. And the best thing that happened, as the saying goes, the best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. So yep. when you bring back pretty much everybody or have the potential to, you expect a big improvement across the whole the board, basically. Yeah, Meselonski, of course, coming off the loss of Morgan Wills, their great pitcher who was outstanding last year. I believe she struck up more than 200 batters on the season. But they have Maddie Wilson. They have two good pitchers behind her. So I know Samantha Tinningley um, is very, very excited about this ball club, and as well she should be because they bring back a ton of talent from a team that was a Northern Maine semifinalist a year ago. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We will run down the starting lineup. So we will have the first pitch. It's high school softball. Today on The Score, Mesolonski and Coney about ready to get started. First pitch is next on The Score. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Over 40 academic degrees and programs recognized as some of the best in the United States. Nursing, criminal justice, forensic, psychology, IT, education, culinary arts, and so much more. Offering one of the lowest tuition rates in New England, plus a top-seeded national champion producing athletics department. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Find your passion. Go to cmcc.edu. For us, it's a family business that is steeped in tradition. You know, our relationship with Waterville goes back a long ways. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to grow and we've been able to grow with the town. We look at the work that we do as something bigger than just the sale of a car or the servicing of an automobile. We're here to be a part of something bigger than just ourselves by giving back to the community with our time and our energy because it's all about taking care of people. If you have been looking or wanting a complete heating, cooling, and plumbing contractor for residential or commercial, all under one roof, Maine Preventative Maintenance is the only number you'll need. Maine Preventative Maintenance is also a registered and recommended heat pump installer with Efficiency of Maine. You may even be eligible for financing through Efficiency of Maine. Emergencies always happen at the most inconvenient times. Don't put it off any longer. Don't wait until something happens. Call Maine Preventative Maintenance today for peace of mind. Maine Preventative Maintenance, 465 4505 465 When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. It's like this every winter. When the temperature drops below 45, my palms sweat and I get really anxious. It's not your fault. You're suffering from seasonal winter driving disorder. Three in four drivers suffer from sweats because they have all season tires. They aren't designed for wintry weather. Luckily, there's a remedy. Take four, call me in the morning. Visit nokiantires.com slash remedy for the cure. Is this a prescription for tires? 201 Tire Battery and Service, Riverside Drive, Vassalboro. Spring is the season of rejuvenation and the perfect time to revitalize your home with Renewal by Anderson. Our spring savings event is only once a year. Call Renewal by Anderson to schedule your free window diagnosis and take advantage of this incredible limited time offer. We've installed over 4 million windows, earning us 4.7 stars in customer satisfaction. Call the number below or visit us online today. And remember, call now because these great savings end soon. The better way to a better window. Renewal by Anderson. Looking to begin or further your career in manufacturing and don't know where to start? Miss State Machine is in need of CNC machinists at our Winslow facility where we manufacture components for some of the most exciting industries, aerospace, defense, power generation. I'm Jeremy Stanford, Manufacturing Manager, and I personally want to invite you to come learn about the great pay and benefits MidState Machine has to offer. To apply, visit MidStateUSA.com. That's MidStateUSA.com, an equal opportunity employer. Come grow with us. We have created 
Uh oh. Drink Company. <laughs> the fastest growing sports drink in history. We will fight. We will fight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got five. Look, he has prime. This season, we are hydrated. The official sports drink of the UFC. It's time. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. I came for a visit, and I just fell in love with it. They just want to see you be you and like just excel. There's a lot of opportunities here. It really gives me time to figure out what I want to do with my life. It's a good stepping stone to get to where you want to be. The tuition is definitely part of what brought me here. You know, credits transfer, that's huge, especially for a community college when you're trying to figure out what you want. CM's the best place. Honestly, it's the best place. You got to be here to experience it. Notice the price of gas and oil lately? Thinking about a pellet stove? Pellets are a renewable resource that are economical, and pellet stoves don't have to be ugly or loud. Come talk to us at Somerset Stone and Stove. Let us explain why now is the best time to have your pellet stove installed. Wouldn't you love to have a gas stove or fireplace designed for your home? Let Somerset Stone and Stove design and install a Regency gas stove or fireplace that is just right for you. Let us customize your Regency gas stove or fireplace while you enjoy the beauty and warmth. Visit Somerset Stone and Stove in Oakland. Mike Pilot, AJ Knight, back here live at the Mount Vernon softball field here in Augusta, ready to go or almost ready to go as the Coney Rams take on the Mesolonsky Eagles. Mesolonsky's the home team today, so we will introduce the starting lineup for the Coney Rams. First of all, coached by Dennis Gagne, Suri Ramkissoon will lead off. She will pitch the this afternoon for the Coney Rams, I had to think for a second there. Giselle Mills bats second. She plays second, hitting third, playing shortstop, Olivia St. Peter. Batting cleanup at third base, Abby Brown. Hitting fifth and playing or catching today is Tori Weber. Batting sixth and playing in left field is Kaylin LaBelle. Hitting eighth is the first baseman, Ariana Lissio. And batting ninth and playing in right field is Brody Barrow. So again for Coney. Ram Kassoon, Mills, St. Peter, Brown, Weber, and LaBelle, Rogers, Lissio, and Barrows, the starting lineup for the Mesolonsky Eagles. And pitching today for the Eagles is Matty Wilson, who wears number 20, getting in the circle right now. And defensively today for Mesolonsky, it's Audrey Mims in left, Kira Cummings in center, Chloe Michu is in right. Left to right in the infield, Sage Whitehead at third, Elise McDonald at short, Olivia Thomas at second base, Lexi Bain at first base on the battery, Maddie Wilson and Peyton Alexander. Today's game is brought to you in part by Central Maine Community College, more than just a community college. With over 40 academic degrees and certificates, one of the lowest tuition rates in New England, just go to cmcc.ed. You. We also welcome a new sponsor jumping on board here this spring, JDH3Design. JDH3Designs.com is where you can go, and they can print just about anything on anything. And I have finally some... someone to print. It's a real wing dinger. <laughs> Where's that hey, T-shirt been? And that's not my phrase, but we could get that done. Uh, you're the only one I've ever heard saying. I it. stole so that from Johnny Most. If somebody asked me, like I think Mike Violet said it. I stole that from Johnny Most, who used that <laughs> not a lot, but enough that it resonated with me and stayed in my mind. Well, now, thanks to him, it's in Central Maine's minds. All right, here we go. Uh, well, you know, Suri Ramkasun will lead it off. Left-handed batting pitcher here against Matty Wilson as we get started from Augusta. With Coney being the visiting team in their hometown today. First pitch is a bunt right out in front off the mound. Wilson, the throw not in time. A bunt base hit for Ram Kassoon. Well, that was easy. Just do that all game. Yep. Very good bunt. Had some backspin on it. And even though Wilson got off the mound and made a quick throw, not quick enough. So the lead runner is on, and here is Giselle Mills. Another left-handed batter. Wilson ready. Pitch is a ball, throw to second, and out! So that takes care of that. So on the first pitch of the game, Rim Kassoon beats out a bunt. On the second pitch of the game, she is caught stealing. Nice throw. So 2-5 caught stealing, that was a ball. 
So one ball, no strikes. And Mills goes from the left-handed batter's box to the right-handed batter's box. That's interesting. One ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. Wilson ready. Deals. It's fouled. And had that fence not been in the way, I would have made that play. Yes. That I, was an easy ground ball to I me. I watched it. One, what, one ball, two strikes. Interesting. I, I think Coney's going to be aggressive knowing that they're going to have to manufacture some luck there. So you see that quick bunt and then obviously the steal attempt. Changeup has popped up. That is in play for Bain, and she makes the catch. Good play by Lexi. It wasn't all that high, and it was coming toward the fence. So a foul to the first baseman, and the first two are retired after the caught stealing. So here is Olivia St. Peter, the shortstop. Pitch is low and away, ball one. St. Peter, right-handed batter, as you can see. Looking at Dennis Gagne, her head coach, down in the third base coaching box. Open stance, little pitch and toe action there. That's why. 2-0. Two outs, nobody on. Two balls, no strikes. The count here on Olivia St. Peter. Here's the wind. And the pitch is low and away, and it's 3-0. and So Wilson having a problem throwing a strike here to St. Peter. If she can reach, Abby Brown is on deck. Clean up hitter. Shows bunt the 3-0. Strike in there. 3-1. and one. Peyton Alexander, the catcher. She's been around a while. Looking over at Coach Samantha Tunningly for the sign. I thought she was getting some last-minute feedback from you. Nope. You don't want me calling pitches. That's a change. And swung on and missed three and two. Yeah, St. Peter well out in front of that one. Alexander gets the sign from her coach. Sends it out to Wilson. Here's the full count pitch. Strike three called. Got her. And after the bunt single, Wilson, because of the caught stealing, only has to face three. Uh, very effective first inning for Wilson. No runs. One base hit that bunt. Nobody left on. We have played a half. We go to the bottom of the first inning. The score, Coney nothing. Mesolonski coming up on the score. Manchester Motors is your official Coyote tractor dealer. If you work the land, you just get to be a jack-of-all-trades type. There's just too much to do. So if you got to be a welder or a farmer or a ditch digger, that's just who you are that day. Then tomorrow, you can be somebody else. Find your Coyote Tractor at Manchester Motors, 1031 Western Avenue, Manchester. Whittemore & Sons, your Coyote Tractor dealer. Dependable sales and service for over 50 years. We are located on the Waterville Road in Skowhegan. Sales and service by a family who cares. All right, we move along to the bottom of the first inning, and the Mesolonski Eagles, the home team here today in Augusta, will send this lineup on the field. To hit for Samantha Tunningly, Elise McDonald will lead off and play short. She had 450 last year, and she is one hit shy of 50 for her career. She will lead off and play at shortstop. Batting second, third baseman Sage Whitehead. Hitting third, the DH Jasmine Higgins. Batting cleanup in left field is Audrey Mim. Hitting fifth and pitching today, Maddie Wilson. Batting sixth and catching today, Peyton Alexander. Hitting seventh in right field is Chloe Michoud. Batting eighth and playing at first base today is Lexi Bain. Batting ninth and playing at second base today is Olivia Thomas. And Kira Cummings is in center field. She is being hit for by the designated hitter, Higgins. So it is McDonald, Whitehead, and Higgins. Mim, Wilson, and Alexander. Mishu, Bean, and Thomas with Cummings being the flex player today for the Eagles. And we are ready to go. And McDonald is in the batter's box. Ready to face the serves here of Suri Remkasun. There's the mask, as most pitchers do now. Most infielders do now, too. High ball one to Elise McDonald. I mean, I think she's going to get respect. What would you say, 450? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's high. That's good. She can hit. Change up, low and away, 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strikes on McDonald. 
Hitting here in the bottom of the first in Augusta. That one's right in there, but bounce to third. St. Peter Fields fires. Good stretch on the other end by Lizio. One out. Hard hit ground ball, but right to the third baseman, Abby Brown. Well, so five to three is the out. Here is Sage Whitehead. I was just saying, anytime you get a batter that's going to hit near 500 out, good. Yep. It's a good. It's a good pitch. It's a good thing. It's a good AB for the defense. Whitehead, the third baseman. That's a ground ball to second. Right there is Mills. Two pitches, two gone. So two up, two out on ground balls, and here is Jasmine Higgins, the DH. Right-handed batter with power. First pitch from Rem Kassoon is a ball. Rem Kassoon, one, two, three, four. That's her fifth pitch. It hard. It's off Rem Kassoon up in the air, and it bounces past second base. That'll be a base hit. She smoked it. Ram Kassoon, I believe, got a piece of it with her glove. And then it skipped past second base into short center field for a base hit. So on is Higgins. And here's the cleanup hitter, Audrey Mim. Yeah, she absolutely scalded that one. Mim, the left fielder. Close stance. That ball is hit hard to the second baseman, right through Mills. Runner hits second, she will go to third. And some two-out thunder here for the Mesolanski Eagles. First and third with two outs for Maddie Wilson. And I will give Mim a base hit on that. That was a hard shot. So Higgins all the way to third. And Wilson now with a chance to help herself. First and third with two outs. Rem Kassoon got the first two easily on two pitches, and now she's in trouble. That is inside for a ball. Runner goes. She is safe. The throw home. There won't be one. A double steal. And Mesolonski jumps out and gets the lead. Aggressive base running. A steal of second by Mim. And coming in to score is Higgins. It's one to nothing. Count as a ball to the pitcher, Maddie Wilson. Now it's two balls and no strikes. So Wilson with a one to nothing lead hitting here with a chance to add on to it with a runner in scoring position at second. The 2-0 is in there for a strike. Two and one. On deck is Peyton Alexander. Two balls, one strike on Wilson. The pitch, down and in, three and one. No dimensions on the fence out here. It's a poke, especially yeah, down to looked, right field, it look, looks like. Looks like a pretty big outfield. Yep, three balls, one strike on Wilson. Changeup is bounced, wide of short, and into left center field, a base hit. Rogers up with it, got it in, but it's an RBI single for Maddie Wilson. Mim comes in to score, it's two-zip Mesolonski. Yep, just flat out hit them where they ain't. Way to be just to the left of the shortstop, Olivia St. Peter, couldn't flag it down. So two in now. Runner at first for Peyton Alexander. Two outs, that's inside. So the first two Mesolonski batters retired on two pitches. And now two runs are in. Three batters later. We've had a single. A single and a single. Got a runner for Maddie Wilson. Time is called by Samantha Tunningly for a second there. This is Ava Perino running at first. One ball, no strikes on Alexander. Popped up over us and out of play. How do in my car? Mine, I strategically parked in yeah. a spot where I thought there's no chance there's going to be a foul ball hit here. Uh, you're in a good spot. One ball, one strike. High. Two and one. So two in, and Maddie Wilson will take the mound 
in the second with at least a two-run lead. Here's the 2-1. Ooh, inside hitter. So the struggles for Suri Ramkasun continue as she hits a batter. Going to second is Wilson. Tunningly calls time. And we're going to get another runner here. And let's see who this is running at first base. That is Annabelle Hanscom. So Perino and Hanscom on the bases, and this is Chloe Mishu. Mishu, right fielder. Suri Ram Kassoon trying to settle it down and keep it here. Strike called. The best first pitch is a strike. 0 I'll, 1. I'll subscribe to that. Yep. Strike two. Ram Kassoon bearing down here, one strike away from getting out of it. Two on, two out, two in. The sign from Weber. Here's the deal. Change up, bounce to third. Right there is Brown, tags the bag, and the inning is over. So for Mesolonsky in the first inning, the Eagles get three runs on two hits. Excuse me, two runs on three hits. There were no errors and two runners left on. We finished one score here in Augusta. Mesolonsky to Coney nothing. You're watching and listening to high school softball on the score. Raising money for our cause, supporting our neighbors, helping to recognize those that should be recognized, providing educational opportunities, working together to make someone's day just a bit brighter. Our employees enjoy being a part of making our communities a better place to live and work. Skowhegan Savings Bank. Over 30 years ago, Paul and John A. Bowen set out on a mission to help aging Mainers stay in their own homes. Assistance Plus grew from their passion, dedication, and integrity where clients come first. Today, Assistance Plus serves not only the elderly, but clients with developmental and behavioral health challenges. Assistance Plus is here for you today and through all points of your life. Local sports on the score brought to you by the Central Maine Motors Auto Group in Waterville. The dealer with no dock fees where cars and trucks cost you less. Online, cmautogroup.com. We go to the second. Maddie Wilson on the hill here with a 2 to nothing lead. And it'll be Abby Brown, Tori Weber, and Kaylin LaBelle, 4, 5, and 6. Against Maddie, gave up a leadoff bunt single. A caught stealing, and she retired the next two. Wide ball one. One ball, no strikes. We are working today without the benefit of a working scoreboard, which means we have to bear down and grind. Foul back. Well, not only that, without a statistician either. So. Right. One ball, one strike. We have a three-man crew, me, you, and we have Chaz. Chaz Wing here running camera, who is way back there in the stands. Bouncing ball up the middle into center field, a base hit. Hard hit, well placed by Abby Brown. And she is on to lead it off here in the second for Coney. Lead runner on, here is Tori Weber, the catcher. Weber, a right-handed batter. Coney Ooh. opens the first two innings, putting the lead, mean, uh, lead yep. man on. Yep. First pitch to Weber is low and away, ball one. We have already seen the throwing ability of Peyton Alexander. She's thrown out one base runner. She can peg it. One ball, no strikes on Weber. Bouncing ball to shortstop. Right there is McDonald. Bobbles goes to second. They don't get anything. Now that's going to be an error on the second baseman, even though the original bobble by McDonald, that's got to be handled by Thomas. E4. I agree with that scoring. Thank you. So she's on on an E4. Fielder's choice officially getting Brown to second. Or the error officially getting her to second. So two on and nobody out and a great chance here for Coney. Here's Kaylin LaBelle, the left fielder. 
LaBelle, right-handed batter, puts a bunt down off the hill. It's Wilson, pumps, and then throws and gets the out. So they move the runners up. So Brown now on third, Weber on second, sacrifice bunt, 1-3. Here is Nema Rogers. Rogers, right-handed batting center fielder. Chance to tie it with a base hit. Runners on second and third, one out. Veselonski two, Coney nothing, but a major threat here by Coney. The pitch is a strike. Wilson certainly has strikeout ability. And now would be a good time to use it. I think that one fooled Rogers. She kind of bent back, but that came all the way to the other side of the zone. The 0-1. She shows bunt, and it's bounced up there on a good stop by Alexander. One ball, one strike. One and one. The deal. Bunting again, and she missed it. And it's one and two. So that probably takes any chance of a bunt off. One ball, two strikes on Rogers. Second and third, one out. Wilson looking for the strikeout. She throws. It's low. Two and two. Ariana Lissio is on deck. Number eight hitter. Two, two. Rogers. Awaits. Here's the pitch by Wilson. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Big strikeout by Maddie Wilson. Two outs. The infield can relax a little bit. And here is Ariana Alicio, the first baseman, number eight hitter. Two on and two out. Maddie Wilson rocks. The pitch is low for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Two nothing. Meselonski at Wilson. Trying to keep it that way. One ball, no strikes. The pitch. Low and away, 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh. Outfield very shallow. Wilson rocks the 2-0. Oh. Is low, 3-0. And, oh. and she is in danger here of walking the number eight hitter. Are you were kidding about the infield being shallow. The center fielder's to the edge of the, right. in, the the gravel there. I was not lying. Yeah. Wilson ready. Here's the 3-0. Right in there for a strike. 3-1. and one. Lissio taking all the way. On deck is Barrows. Number nine hitter. Three balls, one strike. Ball first, no. Take care of it. It's coming to you. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. That's in there. Strike two. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. Wilson trying to wiggle out of a jam. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. She did wiggle out of it. So, after runners were on second and third with one out, a strikeout of Rogers, a strikeout of Lissio, and Wilson is out of the jam. For Coney in the second, no runs, one hit. There was an error. And two big runners left on base. We have finished one and a half here in Augusta. The score, Meselonski 2, Coney nothing. This is high school softball on the score. I'm Drew. I'm Jeremy. We are JDH 3 Designs. We're a main family offering laser engraving of just about anything and custom apparel. We love to work with other local businesses as well as people within the community to bring your design ideas to life. JDH3 Designs. Visit their website at jdh3designs.com and like them on Facebook. JDH3 Designs. They customize just about anything. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. Maybe your existing system is failing or it's a new house lot. You need new installation. Call PJ Diggs. They can bring their site evaluator to design the right septic system. Headed to camp? Ditch the outhouse for a newly installed system. How about a septic system for your campsite? Imagine your own private campground. Already have a septic design? PJ Diggs can install it for you. Call 431-4299. That's 431-4299. At PJ Diggs, they know septic systems. One 31 Hinkley Road, Canaan. Mike Violet, A.J. Knight, Chaz Wing is our videographer here now this afternoon at Mount Vernon Avenue Field in Augusta. It is Meselonski 2, Coney Nothing. High school sports on the score. Brought to you by Hammond Lumber Company, serving Maine and New Hampshire from 22 locations. Your building project partner. Find them online, HammondLumber.com. 
All right, bottom of the second we go. And it's Lexi Bain, the first baseman for Masota, lead it off against Suri Ramkasun. I think there's nothing that demonstrates more how deep this Maslonsky lineup is that that Lexi Bain is hitting eighth. Mm. Because you know, you know she can turn on one. She can swing it. She got power. Pitch changeup is fouled back. 0 1 on Bain. So it's Bain Thomas back to the top to McDonald. 8 9 1. Suri Ram Kassoon doing some housework around that rubber. Now ready. The 0 1 changeup high. One ball, one strike. The right side of my face is going to get extremely burned today. It's warm in the sun. Foul down the third base side. One and two. I have sunscreen if you want it. I'm not too worried about getting burned. Yeah, I'm, I should. More so I should, the equipment. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, man. I shouldn't say burned. Um, it'll uh, be uh, uh, my the, the two sides of my face will be a different color, and that hits Bain right in the thigh, and she's on. That's the Second hit batsman by Ram Kassoon in this game. So Bain is on via being a hit batsman, and here is Olivia Thomas, the second baseman, number nine hitter in the Mesolonsky lineup. Left-handed batter. Shows bunt, drops it down nicely. Ram Kassoon off the mound, throws to first. They get the out there. Bain never stopped the throw to third. She's out! Well, she got a little bit greedy there. And a good throw by the first baseman, Ariana Alicio. So, Thomas is out one to three on the play on the bunt. And then Bain is out three to five. Heads up play there from the first baseman, too, to realize and quickly get, uh, get that rid of that. Bain never stopped, hit the bag on the fly. That is grounded foul by Elise McDonald. It's 0-1. So two outs. McDonald hit the first pitch of the game to third. A ground ball. She was out her first time. Veselonsky's two runs came after two were out. The 0-1 belted up the middle into center field, and that is career hit number 50. And I think they're going to get the ball. I imagine they're going to track that one down. No, they don't. I thought they would. So McDonald with a single to center field. They are. Coach, okay, good. Coach just came down right, third good, baseline. Good. So they get the ball. Elise McDonald, congratulations. Career hit number 50. And the ball being thrown out of play. Make sure to save that one. And now, Coney, again, familiar position. They kind of worked easily through the first two outs in the first inning, and then two runs got scored. Two outs, nobody on, and then a base hit. That is looped on the right field side, and it's foul. Whitehead made it interesting, but a foul ball. Gave that one a ride. Sage bounced to second her first time. Nothing in one on the Mesolonsky third baseman. Ram Kassoon back on the rubber. 0-1, knocks her off the plate. One ball, one strike. One and one. Two outs, runner at first. Two nothing, Meso. High, she checked her swing. Two and one. On deck is Jasmine Higgins. Ram Kassoon, the sign from Weber. Pitch is low, three and one. Three balls, one strike. Nesolonsky looking to do some more two out damage. Change up, she holds on at ball four. First and second, two out, here's Higgins. Higgins singled and scored the first Mesolonsky run in the first. And Higgins started that two out rally in the first, in the bottom of the first. Right handed batting, designated hitter. 
Ooh, that hit her. Ouch. Looked like it was right in the ankle. Yeah, there was no there was no pretending that one. Higgins let you know real quick that didn't feel very good. Third hit batsman of the game by Ram Kassoon, second in the inning, and they're loaded now for Audrey Mims. And stupidly, I didn't write down what she did. I know she scored. She got a hit. She did? Yeah. All right. I did not circle single. And the first pitch there was? Uh, I believe it was a ball. I was looking at my stat sheet to answer your question. Okay. So I, one I ball, no ball. strike count, and they're loaded, and all kinds of trouble today. 2-0 and by Ram Kassoon for Ram Kassoon after two are out. She has retired the first two in each inning, and then problems begin. 2-0 and here on Mim. That ball is smacked up the middle, a base hit. One run will score. They'll send in the runner from second. She will score. It's a two-run single for Mim. And a 4 to nothing Mesolonsky lead. More two-out damage. Isn't that something? Two outs, nobody on in each inning. And two in the first after that. And now two here. And here is Maddie Wilson. Wilson with an RBI single her first time. That's with runners on first and second. Down and in ball one. One ball, no strikes. Mesolonsky four, Coney nothing. The pitch bounced wide of the shortstop into left field, hitting third, and they slowed her down, and then Higgins sort of ran through the stop sign, sort of got the okay to. She comes in to score, and it's five to nothing. So Wilson with two RBI singles on the day. Runners on first and second now. McDonald, Whitehead, and Higgins have all come in to score. Pitch is down and in. Ball one to Peyton Alexander. Alexander hit by a pitch her first time. That's one of three hit batsmen today. And Alexander takes ball one. Ninth batter to bat in the inning. Change up high. 2 0. 5 0 Meso. That's inside. 3 0. Gave it a long look. Did the umpire. Three balls, no strikes. Alexander taking all the way. Ball four. They're loaded. For Chloe Mishu. Mishu ended the first inning on a ground ball to third. Another pinch runner coming in. Eagles having fun. It's been a party so far for Mesolonsky leading five to nothing. Mishu can blow it open with a base hit. Ball one, and Ramkasun is really struggling throwing strikes. Hit her. Oh. That's a painful RBI there for Chloe Mishu. She is hit. Coming in to score is Mim. It is six to nothing. Four runs in in the inning. And that is the third hit batsman of the inning and the fourth of the game. No mound visits yet from Dennis Gagne. He's out of the dugout, at least, talking to catcher Tori Weber. And so Mesolonsky bats around. And leading it off was Lexi Bain, and Bain is up there now. And Bain started the inning off by getting hit by a pitch. So it's time for me to move everything over on my score sheet for the second day in a row. Coach, now Dennis uh, Gagne is... Bringing out a Band-Aid? Something on her hand. She must have got... She's got a blister? Cut up or something. Yeah, a blister, something. All right, so let's see where they put it. She is going to put it on herself. Yeah, she walked off with it and 
obviously a little frustration with her performance thus far. I think was content to get that Band-Aid and wanted to take the mound It's on again. her thumb. Maybe she does have a blister. It's interesting because, of course, at higher levels, you cannot put and pitch with a Band-Aid gotcha. on. Ground ball foul by Bain. Lexi hit by a pitch and then tried to go first to third. On a ground ball back to the pitcher, was thrown out at third base. She can break it open. That is inside. Ball two. Uh, I think a little shallower, obviously, to left with that hill, Mike. Like you said, much deeper to right, but she fully capable of turning on one. Change up is high, 3-0. and oh. I don't know what Dennis Gagne's got for pitching, but it may be time to at least get someone up. Rem Kassoon is struggling mightily. Change up, belted, it's off the glove of the shortstop, St. Peter. One run will score, two runs will score. Sliding into third safely for Mesolonsky is Mishu. And two more runs are in, it is seven to nothing. That's got to be an error on the shortstop. you got to make that play. I agree with you. So Mishu to third. Bain to second. No RBIs on the play because of the error. Should have been the third out. The first pitch to Thomas is ball one. So the runs just keep on a coming. Five here in the inning. Seven zip. Meso. Thomas, bounce back to the pitcher her first time. That's wide. Ball two. You can hear the Mesolonsky girls who are also really good cheerleaders. Aside from very good softball players, grounded foul. Down the first base side, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Ball wide of Ram Kassoon. She... Gets it back from third baseman Abby Brown. There were two outs and nobody on. And now there are five runs in. Swing and a miss. Six in, I believe, Mike. You're right. It's eight nothing. Six in. Two balls, two strikes on Olivia Thomas. Pop foul over the screen and out of play out back. Two balls, two strikes. <laughs> they do have fun. Of course, when you're up 8 nothing, it's fun. It doesn't hurt. Downstairs, 3-2. and two. On deck, top of the order, Elise McDonald, who would be hitting for the third time in two innings if she gets up. Popped up. Should be an easy play for Mills at second. And she makes the play. And finally, the inning is over as Thomas pops to second base. Four. The Nesolonsky Eagles in the second inning. They get six runs. One, two, three. I got three hits. On three hits. So I got an air. There was one error. There were three hit batsmen in the inning. Yep, that, that helps. And two runners left on base. So, we have played two full innings here in Augusta. The score, Mesolonsky 8 and Coney nothing. You're watching and listening to High School Softball on the score. Discover the printing experience you've been searching for at SBS Carbon Copy on 54 Main Street in Waterville. Tired of getting lost in big box stores? Whether you need unique business cards or large format printing up to 44 inches wide customized invitations that scream you, we've got it all. Our team is here to print, copy, or scan with a smile. Fast, affordable, and with a touch of personality. Don't settle for ordinary. Dash over to MainPrintingServices.com where printing's personal, not puzzling. Dixon's Country Market on the Nick Road Benton has it all. Sunoco gas and 24-hour diesel, plus a jam-packed store with what you need to grab and go. And so much succulent food. Huge sandwiches, delicious wraps, and hand-tossed fresh dough-loaded pizza. They have drinks, snacks, fresh meat and cheese in their deli counter, plus local Livelys products that won't cost you a lot of money. And remember those whoopie pies. Delightful, delicious Dixon's Country Market in Benton, supporting local high school sports. 
All righty, Mike Violet, A.J. Knight, Chaz Wing, our videographer, back here at the Mount Vernon Avenue Field in Augusta as we go to the third. And the Meselonski Eagles having a party so far, leading here 8 to nothing. This is Brody Barrows, who's the only hitter who hasn't hit as of yet through the first two, and she takes ball one. One ball, no strikes. She is also diminutive in size. Yes, Puts a bunt down, it hugs the line, and ends up going foul. She can dig down the line. So Barrows will get back in the box. One ball, one strike. She's playing right. One and one. Chokes up on that bat. She went around. And it's one and two. Our broadcast today brought to you by Midstate Machine. If you're looking for a career, check out the Machinist Development Program at MidstateUSA.com. Strike three called. She's gone. That is the third strikeout. Two looking. One out. And here is Suri Ramkasun. A bunt single in the first, and then she was immediately caught stealing. Left-handed batting pitcher. Here it is. Runs up, swings and misses for strike one. It's one of the things that always interests me about softball, especially those lefties. So many of them get kind of that running start into the A-B. But, of course, you got to be careful, right, because we talked about this yesterday with foul territory. The ball hits you in the field of play. Bun is down, dead ball, strike two. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Mike, the call on that is that it it touched her outside the batter's box? I don't know. He's calling her is out. He calling her out? Oh, yeah. I thought it was a strike. Okay, so she was out of the batter's box. So that's why she is out. So that's a strikeout. Basically, emphasize that point. My apologies, Coney. I was just, just making an observation. <laughs> Prophetic. <Yeah. laughs> two strikeouts, two outs. Here's Mills. Bouncer, easy play. And talk about a rocking chair hitting for Maddie Wilson. One, two, three, four, five, six pitches, and she's out of the inning on two strikeouts and a ground ball back to the pitcher. Nothing across for Coney in the third. It is 8 nothing Mesolonsky. You're watching and listening to high school softball on the score. Casella Waste. You see their trucks everywhere all the time. That's because they're out taking care of customers like you. Roll off dumpsters, they've got them 15 to 50 yards. And they're in your neighborhood picking up the trash so you don't have to worry about it. Weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. From 2 to 10 yards. Casella Waste will also deliver portable toilets when and where you need them. And they offer septic services. Call to learn more about Casella Waste. 872-8257. 872-8257 for Casella Waste waste. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Over 40 academic degrees and programs recognized as some of the best in the United States. Nursing, criminal justice, forensic, psychology, IT, education, culinary arts, and so much more. Offering one of the lowest tuition rates in New England, plus a top-seeded national champion producing athletics department. Central Maine Community College in Auburn. Find your passion. Go to cmcc.edu. To the bottom of the third we go here in Augusta at the Mount Vernon Avenue softball field. Coney Rams, Mesolonsky Eagles. Mesolonsky on top here, 8 to nothing. And for Mesolonsky here in what is the home half of the third inning because this is a home game for them here today. It'll be the top of the order. Elise McDonald. McDonald has grounded to third and singled and scored. And a business as usual, kind of a slow start, but uh, for Coney, they're going to be kicking themselves because in the first two innings, they had two outs and nobody on both times and ended up surrendering two runs in the first and then six in the second. Not to mention left four batters on in those innings when they finally got out of them, yep. four total. Strange occurrences indeed. You don't often see that. Two innings back-to-back, -back, consecutive innings where the pitcher retires the first two easily and then 
gives up runs. Two and six. And trouble to start it off here. Top of the order, Alexander, who just got her 50th career hit. McDonald. Uh, excuse me, what did I call her? Alexander. Uh, it's not Peyton, it's Elise. Elise McDonald with her 50th career hit. Strike one. We are in the bottom of the third. Uh, again, last year you said, what, 450 season opener. She's one for two, so she's right on pace for season batting average. High. It'll be McDonald, Whitehead, and Mim. Excuse me, McDonald, Whitehead, and Higgins. 2-0. and oh. No, excuse me, 1-1. One and one. Now it's 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. Not much strategy here, just hit it. Up 8 nothing. Here's the rock by Ram Kassoon. The pitch, strike called. Perfect day to play. Temperature in the 50s, not much wind. Now the ump, for those who can uh, watch in our video stream, started out in uh, his sweater, and he's taking it off. 2-2. Two, two. Low, 3-2. and two. I don't think I would call it a sweater. I think I would call it a pullover. That's fine. I accept that. Umpires don't wear no, that's sweaters. That's fair. Sweater's fuzzy. Pullover's better. Right. It's not like he was wearing a crew neck sweater. He was bundled up tight. Three and two line <laughs> foul just wide of Samantha Tunningly at third base. Alexander, excuse me, McDonald got the head of the bat out on that one. Yeah, well, very good contact just way in front of it. Just absolutely turned on that one towards the coach at third base. Ram Kassoon ready. Here's the three two. Hitter. That is the fifth hits batsman of the day. We had this conversation yesterday because you said uh, on the morning drive we're talking about how many walks per nine you main gives up. We watched Winslow really let that game get away against Waterville baseball yesterday because they couldn't stop issuing free passes. Today it's hit, it's batsmen. Yep, whether it's hit batsmen or walks, and this is going to be trouble, and it is. It's a bunt base hit for Sage Whitefield. She is on McDonald to second. And look out, Meselonski's threatening with nobody out. Huh. Well, for Coney, you don't have to worry. Now you know somehow there's going to be some crazy double play and you're going to get bases cleared here. Here's Jasmine Higgins. Singled and scored, hit by a pitch and scored. Inside, ball one. How about a perfect bunt, though? That thing just got up far enough at the line and, and just died. Bunting is such a huge part of the strategy of softball. Popped up. That'll make it over us and out of play. I was ready. Yep, you were. Pretty good turnout. I didn't realize I just yeah. turned around. A pretty good turnout of fans yeah. here this, this School afternoon. School vacation week. A lot of people take the week off, aside from the kids. Ground ball foul. That is outside of third base, a foul ball. Right down our sight lines here. One and two. <laughs> These cheers are awesome. What it, what it, like, is this after practice? How do they? Yeah, because they got to practice. It's two and two. Is there a section of practice where they just kind of take B A, Bs, and then they, 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 everybody else has to stand in the back and practice cheers, come up with stuff? Two on, nobody out. The pitch to Higgins, ground ball to shortstop. Picked up there by St. Peter, goes to third, has a force, and they get the lead runner. Retired on the play is McDonald. She is out six to five. Whitehead goes to second. Higgins on by fielder's choice. Here's Audrey Mim. Audrey today. Singled and scored. Single, drove in two and scored. So she's been on twice. Scored twice, driven in two. Two on, one out. Mim digs in. Strike called on the inside corner to Audrey. O oh and one.
Here it is. Ground ball to third. Right there is the third baseman. Brown tags the bag. Throw to first. Got her! A double play, or is it? Uh, home nope, plate. it's a safe call now. Yeah, home plate umpire said no. She was off the bag. Okay, so out at third is Whitehead. Going to second is Higgins. Reaching first is Mim on a fielder's choice. Two on, two out. Here's Matty Wilson. Wilson takes ball one. Wilson today has driven in a run with a single in the first, driven in another run with a single in the second, and scored. So she's two for two. An RBI, and she scored twice. That's a strike. So, <laughs> Mesolonski, two on, nobody out. Now there's two on, two out. Change is high. Funny how it goes. That's right where Meso wants him. <laughs> two on, two out. Two balls, one strike on Wilson. Ram Kassoon deals. Ground ball to shortstop. St. Peter will go the short way again, and they get out of it, of course. All three to the exact same <laughs> spot. So five unassisted there, and that is the end of that. So a threat by Mesolonsky goes by the wayside, and we have finished three here. Yeah. In Augusta, the score, Mesolonski 8 and Coney nothing. This is high school baseball, excuse me. This is high school softball on the score. For us, it's a family business that is steeped in tradition. You know, our relationship with Waterville goes back a long ways. Over the years, we've been fortunate enough to grow, and we've been able to grow with the town. We look at the work that we do as something bigger than just the sale of a car or the servicing of an automobile. We're here to be a part of something bigger than just ourselves by giving back to the community with our time and our energy because it's all about taking care of people. If you have been looking or wanting a complete heating, cooling, and plumbing contractor for residential or commercial, all under one roof, Maine Preventative Maintenance is the only number you'll need. Maine Preventative Maintenance is also a registered and recommended heat pump installer with Efficiency of Maine. You may even be eligible for financing through Efficiency of Maine. Emergencies always happen at the most inconvenient times. Don't put it off any longer. Don't wait until something happens. Call Maine Preventative Maintenance today for peace of mind. Maine Preventative Maintenance, 465-4505, 465 545.05. Maddie Wilson back on the hill. Well, on the bump, if you will, for Mesolonsky here That's in the right. fourth inning. She had a seven pitch inning last inning. That'll work. I know, you know, pitch count's not a thing in softball, but it's going to feel good for the arm. Get out of there, get back in the batter's box. And so ready to go here is Olivia St. Peter. St. Peter has been up once and been called out on strikes. St. Peter's at a busy defensive top of the, excuse me, bottom of the third. Every one of those outs was hit right at her. St. Peter ready to go against Maddie Wilson. Leading it off here in the fourth. Wilson deals. That's it to center field. Right there, though, center field to Cummings goes through her. She was hesitant and around second going to third. Is St. Peter, finally they get the ball in. They're going to send her. And she stops, puts the brakes on, and goes back. That's not a good play by Kira Cummings out there in center field. She got caught in no man's land. Normally a better play made by her than that. That is a single and a two-base error. That's what I also was thinking. E8. So... Wilson is going to have to bear down to keep Coney scoreless. Here is Abby Brown. Brown singled her first time up the middle into center field. She fouls one off, strike one. Remember, in the second inning, Coney had runners on second and third with nobody out, and Wilson struck out the last two. 0-1 to Brown. Popped up, foul. 0-2. That one was closer to your car than mine. Yep. I'm looking. You look all right. I didn't hear a softball hitting metal, so. I'm just worried that that bounce is going to end up in your tailpipe and you're not going to check because who would look? 
Change up is outside. Umpire leaned with it, but it was outside. One and two. It would be, I think, impossible for a softball to get caught in a tailpipe. <laughs> Mythbusters. One ball, two strikes. Long look in. Low. Good stop by Alexander. It's right there. And it's two and two. On deck, Tori Weber. Masolonski eight. Coney, nothing. Wilson with a 2-2 two -two count here on Brown. Here's the deal. Low. Good stop by Alexander. Three and two. That one rolled up there. Skipped like a stone. Full count now on Abby Brown. Three balls, two strikes. The windup by Wilson. Here's the pitch. Hit to left field. That certainly will get the run in. Back is Mims. Did she catch that? Yeah, I couldn't she, see. She fell and caught it. It was pretty impressive. I did not see it because the pitcher, Maddie Wilson, was blocking me. It's a sacrifice fly. An RBI for Brown. And Cody's on the board. It is 8-1. to one. So the error comes back to hurt. One out, nobody on here is Weber. Weber reached on an error by the second baseman her first time. Popped up over us and out of play. I thought that one that was a nice, uh, nice play out there by uh, Mims because I thought that was going to get over her head. I thought she had trouble tracking early on and then was going to end up losing it, but she had a nice job catching it as she stumbled backwards and fell. Yep, Mims stayed with it and made the play. No chance to get the runner at home, even if she had not fallen. That's belted into right center, a base hit. Solid line drive single by Tori Weber. So, one out base runner for Kaylin LaBelle. LaBelle, left fielder, a sacrifice bunt her first time. Well, digs in, right-handed batter against Maddie Wilson. High, ball one. One ball, no strikes. Here's the windup by Wilson. Pitch is swung on and missed. I blew that one right by her. One ball, one strike. One and one. Wilson ready. Here's the pitch. Change up. Took a little bit off it. It's fouled at the plate. And it is one and two. That's a really nice job there by Wilson. Blew that fastball right, right by her. So LaBelle loads up for that fastball. Did take something off of it. Wilson peers into Alexander. Ready with the one two. Swing. And I flinched. I did flinch. And fortunately, everybody's okay back there. Whew. I didn't hear any screams. I think more surprise other than anything. Well, most of the people behind us are Mesolonsky JV players. That is factual. So hopefully somebody made a play on that. I think a mom caught it off the shoulder. One ball, two strikes. Out in front, loops it to left field, ranging over his Mim, and Audrey makes the catch. Two outs. She's been busy this inning. So two outs, and here is Nama Rogers. Rogers, the center fielder, struck out swinging your first time. So the error hurting the Eagles, but Wills, uh, Wilson, that is. Wills was last year. This is a new year. And Matty Wilson has settled down. Pitches a strike throw to second, not nearly in time and a steal for Weber. So she is into second. Second base or the base umpire literally with a broom sweeping the bag. How about that? It's not a brush, man. That's a certified broom. Uh, let me know when he gets it's a It's a little tiny broom, but it's a broom. I want one of those. That's wide, just for the heck of it. 
Now let me know when he gets the vacuum cleaner a la Naked Gun 33 and a third. I believe it's <laughs> the correct one. I have no idea what the count is. Uh, one and one. One and one? I think. Thank you, Mr. Home Plate Umpire. Thank ah, you, sir. You're two the man. Mm. I'm following. You got to love a home plate umpire who's actually listening to us. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Two balls, one strike. No, we just ask a question. That's nice. <laughs> if we start suggesting things. That's in there for a strike. Two and two. So Rogers now two balls, two strikes with a runner at second and two out. A run in. It's eight to one, Meso. Inside, full count now, three and two. Well, you can tell by uh, Rogers' response and Meso, the Meso bench, everybody thought that one close to strike three. Ariana Lissio is on deck. Wilson ready. Here's the full count pitch. Change up, got her, strike three. However, the Mesolonski Eagles allow their first run of the game. A run for Cody in the inning. On one base hit, there was one error and one left on. We have finished three and a half. The score from Augusta is Mesolonski four. Cody won. This is high school softball on the score. When you're ready to tackle your next building project, no matter how big or small, depend on Hammond Lumber Company for the products and services you need. The knowledgeable staff at Hammond Lumber will be with you every step of the way and keep your project on schedule. From free estimating and project planning to design and drafting services, an extensive product inventory with a wide variety of brands to choose from, and of course, Hammond delivers from any of the locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Hammond Lumber Company, your building project partner. It's like this every winter. When the temperature drops below 45, my palms sweat and I get really anxious. It's not your fault. You're suffering from seasonal winter driving disorder. Three in four drivers suffer from sweats because they have all season tires. They aren't designed for wintry weather. Luckily, there's a remedy. Take four, call me in the morning. Visit nokiantires.com slash remedy for the cure. Is this a prescription for tires? 201 Tire Battery and Service, Riverside Drive, Vassalboro. Mike Violet, A.J. Knight, back here in Augusta, along with Chaz Wing, our videographer here this afternoon. We are off tomorrow, but we make up for it on Friday with a double header. How about this for you on Friday? 10 o'clock start, Erskine Academy at Coney. I wonder where that game is going to be played. We'll have to find out about that. That's at 10 o'clock. We could be right back here. No, we're not going to play baseball here. Oh, this baseball, softball sorry. Field. I thought it was softball. <laughs> My bad. And then after that, that's a 10 o'clock start. And then after that, it's Lawrence at Waterville baseball. Excuse me, Waterville at Lawrence baseball. That is a 4 o'clock start. So a doubleheader of baseball Friday. And then we have a solo softball game Saturday. In the afternoon, Camden Hills at Skowhegan. So that's the rest of the week. You can always find our schedule at centralmainsports.com. See the brush? See the broom? The man has a broom. That's not just a brush. (laughs) That is a broom. Interesting. All right? It's like the difference between a bro and a man's ear. You know what I'm saying? No, exactly. Where would you pick that up? Like where if you were, got, like you said, you went up to him and said, I want one of those. Where is his fill in the blank as opposed to where you got it? Some sort, uh, you, uh, you you would think that it might be some sort of umpire supply <laughs> that's store. That's what I wanted to But I'm be. not sure that that's actually classified as an umpire accessory. I think it might be, I don't know, it's, it, it's like something you'd see on late night TV back 30 years ago. All right, here's Peyton Alexander leading it off, and Peyton takes ball one. One ball, no strikes. Peyton has been hit by a pitch and then walked and scored. Foul tip. One ball, one strike. I'm going to find out if I can. I want to know. From I, I want it to be an umpire supply store. From umpire Clark. That's really what I hope it is. One ball, one strike. High. Two and one. Two balls, one strike on Alexander. It's Peyton Alexander, Chloe Michu, Lexi Bain. Inside. Three and one here in the Mesolonsky fourth. They lead it eight to one. Three balls, one strike. Bounced foul, three and two. Way in front of that one. That one took off like 45 degrees from the batter's box. 
Three balls, two strikes. Suri Ram Kassoon. First scoreless inning of the day. Last inning, ground ball to short. St. Peter backhands, throws to first, and out. Good stretch on the other end. One out. Here is Chloe Michu. Chloe today has grounded to third. Fouls that one back. And you know when you can't even read your own score sheet. What did Chloe miss? She was she was a, a hit by a pitch that oh. drove in a run. Okay, so she took a painful hit by pitch. So she got an RBI on that. Way out in front, popped it up. Shortstop coming in, St. Peter, and nobody gets it. The wind might have had an effect on that, but that's a ball that's got to be made. You can't give an error because nobody touched it, or did anybody touch it? I had the on-deck batter right in front of me. I don't think so. Let me play the replay one more time. I think it was just miscommunication. Yeah. So it's going as a single. So infield single, here's Bain. Hit by a pitch and reached on an error. Ball one. Lexi, first baseman. One out, one on. Ground ball foul. Get out the way. Get out the way, Coach Gary. Hey. Meselonski having trouble. They've made solid contact, just having trouble timing it. Uh, driven a lot of balls right at the third base, Coach. Boy, you hit one into left center field, you're going to run forever. Yeah, there's a big gap over Huge there. gap. Yeah. Center field. Rogers comes in, and it falls in. I thought she was trying because that was going to be an easy one, but it just dropped down. Apparently, it's played should, too deep. It should have been. That ball's got to be caught, too. But again, it is a single. Got to make a play. Because it very much looked like Bain just kind of muscled that one up into the outfield. So two on, one out. Here's Thomas. Olivia today is grounded back to the pitcher and popped a second. She is the second baseman. Ground ball to second. Right there is Mills. Bobbles, throws. Not in time. Everybody is safe. Error by the second baseman. So they're loaded. And here comes trouble in the person of Elise McDonald. Elise today is one for two, hit by a pitch with a single, her 50th, a double, her 50th career hit. She also scored. One of the eight runs fouls it off. So Meselonski threatening yet again. One strike on Elise McDonald, the Meso shortstop. Right in there for a strike. Oh and two, one of the few times that Suri Ratten Kassoon has been ahead on the count. Oh and two to McDonald. The pitch high. One and two on deck is Sage Whitehead. One ball, two strikes. Bounced. That is a foul ball. It hit the batter after it hit the ground. So it stays at one and two. Yeah, I'm real quick on that one to make sure the call was known. This guy's a good, good umpire. I agree. He's very decisive, which I he, appreciate. He, listening to me aside, he's really good. I agree. Changeup is belted to short, fielded by St. Peter. She comes home on a hop. They had a force play, but the ball was bobbled, and the runner is safe. You've got to get it out there and go to first. Is that Coming field? in to score is Mishu. That's a fielder's choice and an error on the shortstop. Okay. So you can give McDonald an RBI. She's on. And time is called. Dennis Gagne talking to his pitcher, Suri Ramkasun. It has been a, a day of struggle. 
But sometimes you just got to take your lumps, and I have a feeling that's part of things here is that Coach Gagne wants her to punch through it. Well, and again, worth noting, last year this team only had one senior, so still it was a really young team last year, and I think only a smattering of seniors still in the squad this year. Fouled at the plate. So Whitehead with one strike on her. They're loaded again. A run in. It's 9-1. to one. Low. One ball, one strike on Sage Whitehead. Sage has grounded to second, walked and scored, and had a bunt base hit. Change up high. Credit to Whitehead. She really wanted that because that hung up there, but I think that one she would have just gotten under. Two and one. Shot it up the elevator shaft. Oh, that one was one to lay off. That's a strike. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. The base is loaded, a run in. She held back on it, and it's high, and it's three and two. Also, one of my favorite things, the ump was very quick to tell. Uh, it said, not that was high. Where it was. Yeah, I appreciate that because that means he's holding himself accountable. Surrey Ram Kassoon, the 3-2 is belted up the middle of base hit. It hit the back of the bag. One run scores. Coming around third and scoring the second run is Thomas. And it is 11-1 Mesolonsky. A two-run single for Sage Whitehead. So McDonald now at second. Whitehead on at first. Here's Jasmine Higgins. Swing and a miss. Jasmine today has singled and scored, hit by a pitch and scored, and hit into a fielder's choice. 11 to 1. Foul back. Who scored on, who were the two runners that scored? The two that scored there yeah. were Bain and Thomas. Bain and Thomas, thank you. Bottom of the order. One ball, two strikes on Higgins. Or, excuse me, no balls, two strikes on Higgins. Here it is. Ground ball to shortstop. There is St. Peter. No, she kicked it. E6. And they're loaded again. Here is Audrey Mim. Audrey today has singled and scored. Singled into and scored. Hit into a fielder's choice last time. Two for three. Couple of RBIs. High. 11 to 1. The pitch is looped foul just off the fence. 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. One out. And three in. Pitches inside. Two and one. On deck is pitcher Maddie Wilson. Ram Kassoon. The pitch is grounded off the third baseman's glove trying to get a force. Did she? No. That shortstop safe. umpire said safe. So coming in to score is McDonald. That's an error on the third baseman. Mims is on board. E5. And here is Wilson, the ninth batter to bat in the inning. Four have scored. You giving her an RBI for that? Um, Let's see. That is ball one to Maddie. No RBI on that. Okay. Double checking. That is looped into left field, a base hit. Only one run will score up with it is LaBelle out there. Coming in is Whitehead. And the runs just keep on a coming. Give Wilson an RBI. And they're still loaded. And we will move things over yet again. <laughs> 
And here is Peyton Alexander who started this whole thing by grounding out harmlessly to short. Loop to right. Trouble. It's a base hit. Off the back of the skin of the infield, only one run will score. Coming in is Higgins. And Meselonski just piling on now. A base hit for Alexander. Fourteen to one. Here is Mishu. Strike. And Chloe, that, excuse me, Chloe today is grounded to third, been hit by a pitch, driven in a run, and walked and scored. I would just say the four errors this inning. If it hasn't been the walks, it's been the errors. If it hasn't been the errors, it's been the walks. And the hit batsman. Hit batsman today, walks yesterday for sure, but free passes nonetheless. High fly ball center field, Rogers in, Rogers makes the catch. And coming in to score on the play for Mesolonsky is Audrey Mim. And it's 15-1. to one. That's a sack fly for Mishu. An RBI. So runners at first and second now. With two outs. And here is Lexi Bain. Back up the middle into center field. A base hit. That's an RBI single for Bain. Runner goes to third. It's 16-1. to one. Coming in to score was the pinch runner for Wilson. I think that was Perino. Yes. She comes in to score. Alexander made it all the way to third. Bean with an RBI single. I score 16 to 1. This, yeah, this is a, a mess. Second day in a row. I mean, we had 18 <laughs> runs on one team yesterday, scored by one team yesterday. We got 16 here. That was ball one to Olivia Thomas up for the fourth time today. Ground out, a pop out, and reached on an error and scored last time. Here it is. Popped up, foul back. One ball, one strike. Well, the difference in classes has certainly shown here today. Class A, Mesolonsky, Class B, Coney. Now, top Coney, of that. Coney kind of in rebuilding mode. I was to say, the expectations for these two programs as well. Mesolonsky, a team expected to compete uh, against the powerhouse that is Skowhegan, but for a regional championship. Coney, a team that was super young, trying to reestablish that foundation. I mean, there are some Class B teams around here, Lawrence and, and Nicolmas, that can play with Class A teams and do play Class A teams. That hits her for the second time today. She is hit by a pitch. But Coney in rebuild mode. It's been an almighty struggle, so they're loaded again. And here is Elise McDonald, who will hit for the fifth time in four innings. Yeah, and a chance here, already milestone, right? Her 50th career hit, now a chance to do something even more. Bases are full of eagles. Very high ball one. That 50th hit of her career came in the second. It was a double. Popped up. Left field, LaBelle in. Shortstop is there, and making the play is St. Peter. And the inning comes to an end. So McDonald pops to short. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight runs for Mesolonsky in the fourth inning. And we go to the fifth. The score. Mesolonsky 16 and Coney 1. This is high school softball on the score. Spring is the season of rejuvenation and the perfect time to revitalize your home with Renewal by Anderson. Our spring savings event is only once a year. Call Renewal by Anderson to schedule your free window diagnosis and take advantage of this incredible limited time offer. We've installed over 4 million windows, earning us 4.7 stars in customer satisfaction. Call the number below or visit us online today. And remember, call now because these great savings end soon. The better way to a better window.
Renewal by Anderson. Looking to begin or further your career in manufacturing and don't know where to start? Mistake Machine is in need of CNC machinists at our Winslow facility where we manufacture components for some of the most exciting industries, aerospace, defense, power generation. I'm Jeremy Stanford, Manufacturing Manager, and I personally want to invite you to come learn about the great pay and benefits Midstate Machine has to offer. To apply, visit MidstateUSA.com. That's MidstateUSA.com, an equal opportunity employer. Come grow with us. Mike Violet and AJ Knight back here live in Augusta, 16 to 1. Maddie Wilson looking to finish things off here right now. Tonight's, or tonight's. My God, we won on the year at 11.50. Today's game <laughs> is brought to you by Valley Beverage, delivering great beverages every day by Whittemore & Sons, your Coyote tractor dealer sales and service. Though. By a family that cares. By Somerset Stone & Stove, offering quality gas, pellet, wood stoves, and hardscape products. By 201 Tire Battery and Servers, your tire and battery experts on the Augusta Vassalboro town line. Pinch hit, I believe, here, Mike. Okay. So it's, uh, I don't have the name in front of me, 16, because I had uh, Arian Lis uh, Lisio up to bat. I have Madison Leonard as your pinch hitter. Madison, right-handed batter, facing Maddie Wilson. Shows bunt, misses wide. I think it's one and one. A two and one, I believe. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Strike two. Swing right through a fastball. Nope, it's one ball, two strikes. Nah, you were, you right. were close. We we're both close. Trying to track down stats and everything. What are you going to do? Trying to find that pinch hitter there to be super helpful. Low. Now I was making a prediction. See, now it's two and two. Now it's two and two. Wilson rocks. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So the pinch hitter Leonard strikes out. And here's Brody Barrows. The left fielder. She's a pistol. I like the way she plays. A yeah, real short stance. Like you said, we showed bunt uh, her first time up. Really got out well. It was actually a pretty good bunt. Just happened to go foul. Leads back from a Ooh. fastball, ball one. Not much of a strike zone there. That's factual. That was, uh, by the way, it was a seventh, seventh K today for Wilson. Foul tipped, a ball and a strike on Brody Barrows. Barrow's ready. Wilson is ready. Shows bunt, missed it. Offered at it, missed it. One and two. Hey, it's 16 to one. Go for the fence. You know? Sell out. I think the great, we, we didn't see a ton of home runs last year between spring sports. Bouncing ball by the pitcher, fielded by the second baseman, Thomas, over to first, two outs. We didn't see a ton of, um, Home runs last year in baseball, and then of course Legion play, but I I don't think there's anyone more memorable. And I I apologize because I cannot remember the kid's name, but that Legion uh, kid that uh, oh, he's an outfielder, kid? yeah, that jacked one to uh, right field, right oh, field, yeah. and then his parents told us about how he, that was his first ever career first home run. ever home run. Went yeah. into the woods to track it down. All right, here is the pitcher Ram Kasun. Yeah, that was a great one. That was. Because we really were, cool. you know, at that field in Augusta, I forget if it's McGuire or, or right? the other one. Yeah. There were two fields there. We yeah. were at the back one. That right field porch there is a Kennebec Savings Bank sign yep. there. It's like Yankee Stadium close. <laughs> Old yes. Yankee Stadium close. That's a strike. And he hit it over the boards. One ball, two. That's 0-2, oh I two. Yeah. Now she's going to go right-handed. Why, I have no idea. Fool the pitcher. The 0-2. Didn't fool her much. Strike three, game over. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That is how it comes to an end with the 
over 12 run lead. With the mercy rule, mercifully, this one comes to an end. Final score here today in this one. Meselonski Eagles 16 and the Coney Rams 1. We'll come back with the totals and our score player of the game after this on the score. We have created our own drink company. <laughs> the fastest growing sports drink in history. We will run! We will run! This season, we are hydrated. The official sports drink of the UFC. It's fine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I came for a visit and I just fell in love with it. They just want to see you be you and like just excel. There's a lot of opportunities here. It really gives me time to figure out what I want to do with my life. It's a good stepping stone to get to where you want to be. The tuition is definitely part of what brought me here. You know, credits transfer, that's huge, especially for a community college when you're trying to figure out what you want. CM's the best place. Honestly, it's the best place. you got to be here to experience it. Notice the price of gas and oil lately? Thinking about a pellet stove? Pellets are a renewable resource that are economical, and pellet stoves don't have to be ugly or loud. Come talk to us at Somerset Stone and Stove. Let us explain why now is the best time to have your pellet stove installed. Wouldn't you love to have a gas stove or fireplace designed for your home? Let Somerset Stone and Stove design and install a Regency gas stove or fireplace that is just right for you. Let us customize your Regency gas stove or fireplace while you enjoy the beauty and warmth. Visit Somerset Stone and Stove in Oakland. Manchester Motors is your official Coyote tractor dealer. If you work the land, you just got to be a jack of all trades type. There's just too much to do. So if you got to be a welder, or a farmer, or a ditch digger, that's just who you are that day. Then tomorrow, you can be somebody else. Find your Coyote tractor at Manchester Motors, 1031 Western Avenue, Manchester. Whittemore & Sons, your Coyote tractor dealer. Dependable sales and service for over 50 years. We are located on the Waterville Road in Skowhegan. Sales and service by a family who cares. Raising money for our cause. Supporting our neighbors. Helping to recognize those that should be recognized. Providing educational opportunities. Working together to make someone's day just a bit brighter. Our employees enjoy being a part of making our communities a better place to live and work. Let's go, he can savings bank. Over 30 years ago, Paul and John A. Bowen set out on a mission to help aging Mainers stay in their own homes. Assistance Plus grew from their passion, dedication, and integrity where clients come first. Today, Assistance Plus serves not only the elderly, but clients with developmental and behavioral health challenges. Assistance Plus is here for you today and through all points of your life. Mike Violet and AJ Knight back here post game at Mount Vernon Avenue Field in Augusta, where today the Missolonsky Eagles posing as the home team because, after all, it was a home game for them. And they had some fun. They had a party at home here today as they beat Coney by a score of 16 to 1. For Mesolonsky, the line total in this one, the Eagles 16 runs, 13 hits. <laughs> they made two errors and they left nine. For Coney, a run on four hits. They made five errors and they left three. The winning pitcher, obviously, Maddie Wilson in this one. The losing pitcher, Suri Ram Kassoon. And our score player of the day after getting her 50th career hit is Elise McDonald, the 450 last year hitting. Elise McDonald, the starting shortstop and leadoff hitter for the Mesolonsky Eagles with a double in the second inning for hit number 50. That's a pretty special one. Uh, yeah, one hit, uh, that double, she had an RBI score twice. She was hit by a pitch. She got on base. and Just a, an achievement and a, a part of that uh, the offense just couldn't be stopped. And it seemed like early on, Meso had to get to two outs to get going. All eight of those first uh, eight runs were scored with two outs, and then they Put the crooked number up on the fourth to get this one over early. 
Yeah, the issue was not in doubt for long in the second inning. You could tell where this one was headed. Coney right now, a Class B program in a rebuild situation, and Mesolonsky is loaded and ready to contend yeah. for a championship, so there was a huge difference. Real quick before you get to the schedule, let me give an honorable mention to Maddie Wilson, who in her own right, who will probably pick up several players of the game through this year. Uh, f four innings pitched. No, excuse me, five innings pitched, seven Ks, four hits, uh, only one earned run, and then at the plate, Wilson was uh, three for five with three RBIs today. So she do so it normally both ways. she would merit being our player of the game, but with the accomplishment of Elise McDonald, yep. I'm sure that Maddie is willing to step aside at least for today. I, again, I think she's going to pick up a few this year <laughs> and let Elise have the spotlight. So AJ mentioned the schedule. So a day off tomorrow, double dip on Friday, Erskine Academy at Coney Baseball at 10 a.m. That's a 10 o'clock start Saturday morning. And then in the afternoon, to finish off our doubleheader, it's Waterville at Lawrence and Baseball at 4 o'clock. We have a Saturday game this week, too, as Coney, excuse me, as Camden Hills will be at Skowhegan for softball at 3 o'clock. So that's going to do it from here for Chaz Wing, our videographer this afternoon. For A.J. Knight, Mike Violet saying so long from Mount Vernon Avenue Field in Augusta. Final score in this one today, the Mercy Rule in effect. The Mesolanski Eagles 16 and the Coney Rams 1. You've been listening to another high school sports presentation on The Score. Supported by these great local sponsors. Central Maine Community College, Central Maine Motors Auto Group, Hammond Lumber Company, Mid-State Machine, Whittemore and Sons, Somerset Stone and Stove, 201 Tire Battery and Service, P.J. Diggs, Renewal by Anderson, Assistance Plus, Valley Beverage, Maine Preventative Maintenance, The Harry J. Smith Company, SBS Carbon Copy, JDH3 Design, Dixon's Country Market, and by Casella Waste. Stay tuned for a lot more live video and audio of high school baseball, softball, and girls and boys high school lacrosse. All available at centralmainsports.com, 1160thescore.com, and our YouTube channel at Central Maine Sports. Please go and subscribe. You found the place for local sports. Sports Radio 1160, 